In the lead-up to this weekend's sensational Sunday, the final part of our Kemble Grange special takes a look behind the scenes at some of the characters of the track and we meet the people who've made it all possible. Sensational Sunday is the signature race day at Kembla. The preparation of the track is the same for greenkeeper turned racecourse manager David Anderson. I walk the track twice a day, every day. 2.2 kilometres. It's a dedication bordering on obsession. After a 3am start, he's at the barriers for the beginning of every race day. But the real work starts after the punches retire for the night. Dave and his team will work on moving rails, top dressing, mowing and filling in the divots. The feature race day is a big one for the bookmakers too. They'll hold upward of $50,000 with over $50 million invested in betting associated with the track in the past 12 months. It is a changing industry. 30 years ago there were close to 50 bookies on site, now there are just six. Bomaderi's Bob McDonald says online competition has been fierce. It's a big impact on it because I've lost a lot of customers that I had on the uh, on the phone who, uh, who got that many options with the uh, with the corporate bookmakers and that that I, I can't blame them but we're here providing the best we can for what customers we get. I don't think there's any future for uh, any any uh, people like myself going that much. I can't see for any younger people coming through the game but I could be wrong. The TAB and online gambling provides an easier avenue with more options, but that's slowly erasing an old-time tradition. I, uh, I'd hate to see a day arrive, and it probably will, when there's no bookmakers on course and we all bet through the machine. A tradition which is growing is fashions on the field, increasingly popular and not just with the ladies. Originally created in 1962 in Melbourne to attract more women to the races, it made its first organised appearance at Kembla in the late 90s. The evolution of racewear can be traced through the outfits worn by the competitors in what's become a sport in itself. Change is something this track has faced many times. Keith Nolan was the biggest driving force behind Kembla's success and growth over the last half century. A lover of all sport and affectionately known as Shoulders, Nolan was the leader of a small band of sportsmen who ensured this track was not lost. Sensational Sunday's feature race, the Keith Nolan Classic, is named in his honour. It was Nolan who enticed AJ Burt Lilly to town. Lilly was a doyen of racing, the best race writer known and a prominent director of the ITC who played an integral part in its formation and progress. The man who now holds the reins is Executive Officer Peter DeVries. My vision is, as and always has been, is that we're here for one purpose, and that's to advance horse racing in the Illawarra region. After surviving the last century, the future of this infectious sport is sure to have as many stories and characters in the hundred years to come. They love the sport, they love the animal, uh, and as once it gets into your blood, it doesn't leave you.